For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Well, happy November already. Nice to see you. Paul Dingaman here on the Focus program. We've got some very interesting segments lined up for you and also a tour of the St. Clair Inn. So you stay tuned for all of that. But let's begin with two ladies who are here to talk to us about a, a wonderful event, the uh, Tyler Kryler, pronounced Creelter. it right? Creelter, uh, third annual run. All right, and this is the shirt from last year, but let's talk to Betsy Devon, De, I get my Davenport. name's right, Davenport, uh, Tyler's sister and the race coordinator. What's going on now that I'm stumbling through my words? <laughs> Okay, uh, so this is our third annual uh, Friendsgiving 5K, and it's a race held every year downtown Marine City on Thanksgiving morning. And it was started by the Haney family, who were, um, their son was a good friend of Ty's. Um, they ran cross country together in high school and in college. And Kara Hoke here. And you were one of the founders big, of it too? Oh, yes. Big time. Uh, yeah. I'm dating one of the Haneys, so uh -oh. of course I'm very involved with their family. And, right. you know, when this tragedy happened, we thought there was no better way to honor a runner than with a run. So, How old was he when he passed? 19. 19. That's too, way, way, way too young. Way too young. And you went to high school with him? Yeah. We both graduated in 2015 together. And were you on the cross country team? I was not, but having a boyfriend on the cross country team, I was <laughs> basically there for everything. <laughs> Morning, so. noon, and night, you were there. Yep. <laughs> and cross country is like a family, isn't it? it totally. It's an amazing mm -hmm. group of people, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously they're, and they're healthy. All, they're all still very close. Yeah, mm -hmm. still very close. Mm -hmm. too. All right, so, and the name of it is just so unique and so great. Tell me the name again. The Friendsgiving 5K. Friendsgiving. Mm -hmm. That's just such a cute idea. Cute idea. Who came up yeah. with that? The two of you? You? I don't know. Alicia. One of us? <laughs> <laughs> Together? Group effort? <laughs> great, great. Okay, and so you had the first run. Where was the first run? Downtown? So the first one they held at East China uh, in Township the, Park. In the park. Mm -hmm. Nice park. Yeah, and uh, when they planted, they approached our family really within days of of Ty passing and they came over and said we really want to honor him with a race and they thought it would be about 30 of his yeah. closest friends. Yeah, just the guys to get together and, on Thanksgiving uh, morning. Ended up being over 500 people. 500? 500 people between the participants and the volunteers. That's absolutely wonderful. So, and uh, we tribute. raised, I think they raised over $10,000 yeah. for his memorial fund. So this whole race is to fund his memorial foundation and we um, we give two scholarships every year to area blue water cross-country runners uh, so it's just not marine city just not st clair it's a blue water runner. blue water area mm -hmm. and where can they use those scholarships uh, any four year two two to any four year post-secondary yeah. education mm -hmm. great yep. and we have we we're very particular about uh, who receives the scholarships in the sense of we're looking for runners who not necessarily maybe have the best times but who are runners that have the same character as Ty had. So okay. Ty okay. was somebody who led his team by encouraging other people and building others up and, and that kind of thing. So those are the runners that we're looking for when we when we look at their essays. Peter, throw up that picture of, of uh, Ty and uh, we'll, we'll start uh, talking. There he is right there. What a fine looking, looking uh, young man. And uh, he was a runner for SC4 also. Yes. He was a freshman at SC4 when he passed? Yeah, sophomore. Sophomore? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he ran with a fellow who used to direct here, Gerald Forbes. Yes. And uh, Gerald was uh, upset, as you guys obviously were, when he, when he left, when he gone passed. But uh, let's go into the next picture here and talk about uh, where the, wh this is the race assembling at uh, the Mariner, uh, at the, the, uh, Mariner Pavilion. So Pavilion. this is, we're now in downtown Marine City. Mm -hmm. Weather-wise, it's just a better option for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was the beginning of last year's race that okay. was in the second. Oh, it's a beautiful new uh, pavilion they've got. Mm -hmm. And uh, what a great place to start. And all those signs that you were seeing there mm -hmm. are um, inspirational quotes. Ty used to, as, uh, after he passed, I was looking through his Twitter page, and he used to quote, Tons of inspirational wow. quotes, and so we line the race course with inspirational quotes the whole race. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, here's one of them. There's Kira and Blake <laughs> and Emmett. So those are Ty's good friends. Okay, and here they come around a corner, mm -hmm. and they all got the shirt on. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay, and that's another good bluff. Those are a lot of the runners. Yeah, they look great. Here we go. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. I like that one. It, to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice. Where did he get? Did he make those up? Or did he? No, a lot of them he would either re retweet or find. Now that yeah. that one that you just read, the to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift, and that is a well-known quote from a runner, um, Prefontaine, and that was Ty's favorite quote. Okay. Uh, so. All right. Next, here's the finish line. Wow, look at that. And. Uh, the fire department was there in case anybody falls down and breaks their knee or That's my toe. oldest brother there, Ryan. That's your oldest brother? Okay. Yep, in the SC4 shirt. There's Kara and Blake. Okay. And that's Kara, my mom. Kara, you're in there a lot. <laughs> I, I, I there. put a little bit of work into it. <laughs> so. <laughs> she did. And that was my mom at the end there. She trained hard to run that thing. How many runners did you have in the second year? Second year, 300 runners and um, about 60 volunteers. So we were close to about 400 people. Wow. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. And plenty more come just to support and oh yeah, we had so know. many spectators. And yeah, absolutely. So how do I register this year? When is Go the ahead, date Kira. again? What time do I have to register? All so that? the best way to find information about it is to go to our Facebook page, which is right there. Okay. Uh, Friendsgiving 5K Tyler Carrollton Memorial Run. Friendsgiving 5K dash Tyler. Uh, Crowlter Memorial, Memorial Run. Memorial Run. Okay. So on it's that page, um, you can find the link to sign up. Um, it's thirty dollars up until November 11th, and that includes your shirt, that includes the run, that includes the um, finishers medal. your finishers medal, which is incredible. Oh, I'm going to get to that. Oh yeah. <laughs> ben, uh, take a look at this shirt. This is a, these are really nice. These are long, long sleeve, sleeve shirts too. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a nice shirt, and you're going to have an equally nice yeah, shirt this it, yep. year. Okay. But the finishing, this is really cool. This is a heavy, heavy shoe here. And are you going to have the same shoe or are you going to have something else? It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, believe it or not, we amped up our game a little bit. Uh -oh. So if you think that's great, <laughs> you should come out this thing for All it right. it'll be better. Okay. Um, but they're incredible. And it's, that's one of the best medals you're going to find for a 5K. Most, most of the time you have to run a marathon or a half marathon to get a medal that nice. Even so. the sure. one mile finishers will get a finishers medal. And what do I, what do I have here? Ah, <laughs> that is a top finisher hat. So those are for, we have uh, five-year age group brackets, so seasoned runners really love that. Got a picture and of this guy? if you are a top female or male in each age group, you get a finisher's hat. Okay, they're not going to let me. So you got to train that. really there hard for that there one. There we go. Yeah. Second. <laughs> yeah, so this is a finisher's hat, and, uh, and the winter runners, they really like it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like being able to, to wear a, a, like a Medal of Honor, yeah. you know, the following year. Yeah. You're a top finisher, so. Oh, yeah, you wear it the next mm -hmm. year, right. Okay, so uh, the money, and uh, if I want to register for the scholarship, where do I do that? Same. So we send everything out to the local uh, coaches, oh, the local cross-country coaches, uh, whether it be Catholic high schools, public high schools, charters, you know, all of those, we send out that information. And uh, we encourage the coaches to nominate runners that um, really amplify or uh, exemplify those characteristics. Okay, very good. Yeah. Have we missed anything? I don't think so. Give me the dates again. Of so it's Thanksgiving morning every yeah. year. So yeah. no need to remember a date. Just remember Thanksgiving. Um, the one mile starts at 8.30. Recommend you get there around 8. Um, you can go on our Facebook page to find more information, and there will be links on there to sign up. Um, Runsignup.com, too. Was the November the 11th? To guarantee a t-shirt. Okay. okay. Okay, so to guarantee a shirt, you need to register by November 11th. Okay. Um, anybody can register even the day of. Uh, we encourage pre-registration just so that we can have shirts for everyone because you're going to want a shirt. Right. Um, but And everybody who finishes gets a medal. And we really work hard to make sure that this race appeals to everyone. A lot of people will say to us, well, I'm not a runner. And you don't have to be a runner. Um, you don't have to uh, even be a regular walker. We have a one mile walk, have fun. It's an inspiring way to start your Thanksgiving. Yeah. Everybody encourages Makes you everyone. For the rest yes, of the day. yeah, we have great food afterwards too. <laughs> But um, it's really it's an ins it's it's really an inspirational event and um, a great it's a atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you can't beat it on right. Thanksgiving morning. Right. So. For sure. Okay, ladies, I'm proud of you. Thank for you what so you're doing. much. Thank you so and, much. And uh, your brother would be real happy that uh, this is happening. I mean, it's an amazing event, and it's amazing that, that it's happened. So yeah. there they go. Uh, that's about it. No, no, we got another couple guests coming up, and so we'll be right back.